Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Rick Nabb, director of the National Hurricane Center. This is your 9 a.m. update on the Eastern Time Zone on Tropical Storm Isaac, which is centered north of the northern central coast of Cuba. You can see it on the radar right about in here, and it is still a large and sprawling system. Maximum sustained winds at 65 miles per hour has not substantially strengthened overnight, but it is gradually gaining some organization, still has the chance to strengthen some more today and this afternoon, potentially becoming a hurricane uh, before or right about the time, or perhaps right after uh, reaching the Florida Keys. But we are already seeing the effects of the storm moving into the Florida Keys and the southern Florida Peninsula. There are intermittent bands as far north as Palm Beach County and Lake Okeechobee on the east coast, even farther north than that up on the west coast. The bands will become more intermittent and more potent as the day goes on. So if you're tempted to go outside in between some of those bands and get on the roads, you might want to think twice about that simply because the next band might be a little stronger and that's the main way folks can get themselves into troubles, being out on the roadways uh, during tropical storm conditions and you get ponding on the roads, they can get in car accidents and flood covered roadways are a potentially deadly situation. So good day to stay indoors and still take that hurricane warning very seriously down in the Keys and on the southwest coast of Florida. Again, this afternoon, roughly, maybe into the early evening is when the center of circulation will pass near or over some portion of the Florida Keys. Now, in the near term, some of the hazards we're very concerned about, not only the tropical storm, but potentially hurricane force winds, but also locally heavy rainfall and inland flooding. Especially on the right side, compared to where the circulation is, we could see tornadoes, uh, isolated tornadoes. Some of them relatively short-lived, won't necessarily see them coming. Uh, again, good reason to be inside, away from the windows for today. And also, storm surge is one of the hazards. We'll talk about that in more detail in just a moment. So let's take a look at the forecast path uh, with our watches and mornings and the cone. Again, right now moving west-northwest at about 20 miles per hour in the general direction of the Florida Keys, headed into the Gulf of Mexico. We're pretty certain this is going to get into the Gulf and have a very good chance of strengthening to a hurricane, maybe right about the time of the Keys and, or certainly at some point after that. We're forecasting Category 2. That's our peak intensity over the Gulf uh, near the northern Gulf Coast. Certainly possible it could be stronger than that given the very favorable atmospheric conditions over the Gulf of Mexico and the very warm waters. The new item this morning of greatest interest on the northern Gulf Coast, Hurricane Watch. In effect, for the western Florida panhandle, Alabama and Mississippi coastlines in southeastern Louisiana. Not yet, anyway, including metropolitan New Orleans, but that could change later today. So today and tomorrow are the preparation days for the northern Gulf Coast Hurricane Watch area. And remember, still a tropical storm warning for the Big Bend area and the west central coast of Florida, where we could see tropical storm conditions, uh, tropical storm warning in effect, and storm surge is a potential hazard all the way around from Louisiana to southern Florida because you don't have to have the center of a large tropical storm or hurricane impact you directly in order to see effects. Just think back to Tropical Storm Debbie back in June. Low-end tropical storm by the wind, far offshore, still producing storm surge and heavy rains over northern Florida. So four to six feet of storm surge in the south Flor southwest Florida coastline area, that's one area you need to be very uh, keen to what the emergency managers are saying. Northern Gulf Coast, pay attention to the local officials and start thinking about what you're going to do if a hurricane warning or evacuation order is issued for your area. More again next hour, live from the National Hurricane Center. I'm Dr. Rick Nabb.